Welcome to my channel, I'm Doris and I'm here to share with you about the market update. Amazon, Google, Apple, Meta, AMD earnings hit US stocks next week to look at the 2023 technology stock strategy. US stocks closed higher on Friday with the Dow up for a sixth straight session. Tesla led tech stocks higher. All three major indexes posted gains for the week. The U.S. core PCE price index in December reinforced expectations that the Fed will further slow the pace of interest rate hikes. The market continues to watch U.S. earnings. All three major U.S. indexes rose for the week. The Dow rose 1.81% for the week, while the S&P 500 gained 2.47%. The Nasdaq rose 4.32%. It's the fourth straight week of gains. Next week's forward, January 30th, Monday. The January Dallas Fed Business Activity Index will be released on that day. So Fed Technologies, Philips, Silicon, Telecom will release new earnings before the market on that day. Whirlpool, NXP, Principal Financial will release new earnings after the U.S. market on the same day. Next Tuesday. The fourth quarter labor cost index quarterly ratio will be released on the same day. The U.S. January Chicago PMI will be released on the same day. The conference board's consumer confidence index will be released in January. General Motors, Pfizer, McDonald's, Caterpillar, ExxonMobil, Spotify, Moody's, Marathon Oil will release new earnings in the pre-session. Micro, Snap, UBS, Western Digital, EA, Amgen will release new earnings after hours. Next Wednesday, U.S. API crude invest inventories for the week ending January 27th. U.S. ADP payrolls for January will be released on the same day. The final U.S. market manufacturing BMI for January will be released on the same day. The U.S. January ISM manufacturing PMI will be released. U.S. EIA crude oil inventories will for the week ending January 27th. Due out on that day, the EIA strategy, strategic petroleum reserve will released on the same day for the week ending January 27th. Boston Scientific Enterprise Products, GlaxoSmithKline, Novartis, for pharmaceutical will release new earnings before the market on that day. Meta Platforms, Allstate, Vista Outdoor, American Superconductor, Maxon will release new earnings after the market on the same day. Next Thursday, the Fed's rate decision through February 1st will be announced on the same day. The number of U.S. January Challenger corporate layoffs will be announced on the same day. Initial jobless claims for the week ending January 28th will be released on the same day. U.S. factory orders for this December will be released on the same day. Merck East, Honeywell, Hershey, Eli Lilly, Estee Lauder, Armatic, Squibb, Rio Ferrari, Mangelon Oil and Gas, Sony will release new earnings before the market on that day. Apple, Google, Amazon, Qualcomm, Ford Motor, Starbucks, and Clorox will, be, will release new earnings after hours on the same day. Next Friday, the U.S. January unemployment will be released on the same day. U.S. January, January quarterly non-farm payrolls will be released on the same day. The final U.S. market services PMI for January will be released on the same day. The U.S. ISM non-manufacturing PMI for January, January will be released on the same day. Sanofi, Cigna, Wisdom Tree will release new earnings before the market on that day. Apple's financial reports. Apple, there are some market contemplations about the upcoming Apple financial report as it serve as a signal for the market's possible downturn. Apple accelerated into Metaverse AR VR head display may appear in the spring. U.S. stocks research has reported that Apple and AR and VR headset is expected to be released this spring.
This is both a move to the times and a natural extension to its current business. As far as we know, Apple wants to release a high-end headset with VR and AR capabilities. According to media reports, Reality Pro could cost as much as $3,000, much higher than peers like Oculus, which cost around $1,500. Earlier reports also suggested that the Apple headset might come with a battery pack that can be fixed to, into, to the hip and use a Mac, powerful M2 processor. It may even have electric lenses that can adjust to each person's eye. Meta's financial report. According to Zhitong Financial, Jeffrey said in a recent report to clients on internet stocks that its view is neutral in the industry, lining with its tendency to invest in Meta and Alphabet in 2023, and Amazon and other big companies. Jeffrey said the company's large balance sheets could help them withstand the long-term deteriorating macro situation, and their core business should lead the ultimate recovery. Jeffrey's equity anal analyst, led by Brent Sale, wrote in a note, Meta will be the best performing big company, driven by expense cuts and new realization drivers. Jeffrey has a price target of 155 from the Friday's close of $130. In its report, Jeffrey cited three main reasons to be bullish on Meta in 2023. First, Sale said, Meta is one of the cheapest stocks in our range at 16 times its fiscal 23 EPS, but we believe there are multiple revenue and net profit catalysts that will push the price higher. Second, the company's fast-growing Instagram Reel Shorts short video feature will boost revenue, with revenue rates of $3 billion. In addition to click-to-messenger and click-to-WhatsApp ads, analysts said that Ads together represent $10.5 billion in revenue. Third, Meta has been focused on spending discipline, which could provide further protection against its earnings per share. So said, we believe that current levels are likely to have been full priced, fully priced for ongoing privacy issues, competition from TikTok, and the deteriorating macro environment. U.S. Sorry, Google Financial Report. Google announced the biggest round of layoffs in 25 years, and senior executives explained it. Executives defended the layoff at the meetings, days after the Google announced one of the biggest layoffs in its 25-year history, according to Smart Finance. Google's CEO Sundar Pichai chaired the ch company's meeting and told staff executives that their bonuses will be cut. He pleaded with employees to stay motivated because Google face, faces strong, growing competitions in areas such as artificial intelligence, while he tried to explain why employees who had lost their job were removed from internal systems without warning. He said, I understand that you are worried about the next job. I'm also very sad that the company has lost some of its very good colleagues. For those not in the U.S., delays in making and communicating decisions about the role of your area can undoubtedly cause anxiety. After announcing Friday, it cut 12,000 jobs, about 6% of its full-time workforce. While employees have been preparing for potential layoffs, they want answers to the criteria for deciding who stays and who leaves. Some of the layoff employees have served for long hours and recently received promotions. He said he consulted the founders and controlling shareholders, Sergeant Bryan and Larry Page, and the board to cut jobs. He said 2021 was one of the strongest years in the company's history, with revenue up 41%. Google has increased the number of employees to match with the expansion, and he said the company expects the growth to continue. In this context, we make series of decisions. If the trend continues, they might be right, he said. You have to remember, if this trend continues, we don't hire people to keep up, as the company will fall behind in many areas. Amazon's financial report. Amazon currently is understood to be trying to buy iRobot Corporation for $61 per share. Meanwhile, iRobot trades at $46.02 as the market appears to believe regulators will allow the deal. 
Overall, the 32% increase seems pretty impressive compared to the company's current share price. Consolations may be locked, but historically, about 90% of them won't. However, the deadline for the deal is August 2023. August 4, 2023. The merger can be extended a few more times, which seems like the market, the company is determined to complete it, even if it takes a long time. Ultimately, iRobot Corporation is a $1.25 billion company with thin margins and make premium, premium vacuum cleaners. It is now being acquired by the trillion dollar online retail cloud computing giants. AMD Financial Report. AMD KeyBank said the sem- semiconductor industry will recover in the second half of the year, and the AMD should maintain a super large server growth. On Thursday, investment firm KeyBank Capital Markets released its outlook for 2023 for the semiconductor market, noting that revenue excluding memory in the in the industry could fall by 4%, with a sharp decline in the first half of the year, followed by a recovery in the second half. Analyst John Wynn said, despite the sharp fall in Philadelphia Semiconductor Index in 2022, we still see a soft landing for the semiconductor industry. He points out four reasons. First, the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index and its forward ratios have been fallen by 55% and 46% respectively from peak to 12, indicating that the share price has been priced in. Number two, the backlog has, the backlog has better visibility due to long-term agreements with, between consumers. Number three, these companies have favorable pricing leverage and expect price to rise this year. Number four, Finally, the industry has long-term growth drivers, including the Internet of Things, electric vehicles, and advanced driver assistance system, cloud and data centers, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. While there will be some bumps and unexpected shifts along the way, we said companies like AMD, Kili, MKS Instruments, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm are the top picks this year. AMD, which is seen as one, one of the most leveraged companies in cloud computing, exceeds Intel's market share and should continue and should maintain super large server growth. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. I'm looking forward for the next week. See you next episode.